Christy Glass here with a little tutorial for you. I know, I never do tutorials, but I had to do one because I recently designed a trio of hat patterns with row and yarn. Here is one I'm wearing right now. And involved with every single hat is a little bit of special embroidery using this gorgeous DMC Diamant Grande. I hope I'm saying that right. But basically it's the sparkly yarn. And so you can see it here. I've made little star snowflakes in my hat and I'm going to show you how I did that. So stay tuned, here we go. Hey everybody, Christy Glass here with my hat that I collaborated with Rowan on. This is the lace version and you can see after I have knit these lace holes in my pattern, I add some embellishment with some DMC thread to make it more festive. And these three are done for us and it's just basic embroidery with a few French knots and it's just up to your imagination what you decide to put on your hat. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So flipping it over to this side, I have some lace motifs that have not been embroidered just yet. I take my DMC Diamant Grande, this is uh, one of the gold colorways, and just clip about 18 inches here. And you can hold this as many strands as you want. I find that holding it double seems to be enough. And I'll just thread my needle here. I have a yarn needle, double it up, and then just make a simple knot. We're not going to depend on this knot for security within the knitted fabric because it's too loose but it is nice to just have a little something there. Once you're ready with this, turn your work inside out and find where you wanna start. So do you wanna start in the center of your motif? Do you wanna start on the edges? Just decide that. I'm gonna start in the center today just for fun. So I'm gonna turn this inside out and I'm going to secure my gold yarn by just going in and out. See, this knot, it does stay a little bit but you wanna make sure it doesn't slip out. So I just go through a few stitches to secure it in place. It's a similar treatment to when I make a button. I just wanna make sure my thread is good to go. So once I've done that, I poke it through to the right side and I just let my imagination go wild. So for this one, I think what I wanna do is start in the center and have a stitch radiate to each of these yarn overs. So I'm gonna go just through the yarn over and bring my needle back to my starting point. So sometimes people call this a satin stitch because I don't have to grab it from the wrong side. I can just insert it here and here and then it's just already to the front again. So I'm gonna pull that through. Hope that doesn't get caught on the rim. There we are. So I have one stitch created there. Now I'm gonna go up to this one, through the yarn over and back through my center point. And you'll see sometimes one side will land sooner than the other, so just make sure they're even when you pull that stitch through. There we go, there's two. Now I'm going to move, I'm going counterclockwise today insert into the yarn over and then into the center. I have three and now to my side. This one's a little longer so you're gonna have to stretch a tiny bit here. Okay, there we go. Look at that nice little star it's making. So into this yarn over and then into the center. Now to the bottom. To this one. And finally, the last one, pull to the center. So I'm loving this star motif I have going on here. And when I put the hat on, it's gonna stretch a little bit. You see, it's gonna stretch and be really nice. 
And I think just to finish this one off, I'm gonna put a French knot right in the center. So to make a French knot, you pull your yarn, pull the thread up tight like this and take the needle. You wrap it twice around one and two, and then you insert your needle next to the hole, just as close as you can as possible. Now, what I like to do, because this, this is a metallic thread, is I like to pull this a little bit taut while I'm making the knot, just to make sure it's as clean as it can be, because it's not the easiest fiber to make a French knot with. And then I just pull it the rest of the way into the French knot. So now it has a little, cute little center. Once you're done with whatever embroidering you want to do, flip it back over again and use a similar technique. Just secure your thread through some of the existing knitted stitches. If you have enough embroidery, you could even do it through some of the embroidered stitches if you want. And if you want to do another knot for good measure, you can do that. So I might do that just right now, like this. And then you make sure that's nice and tight and then snip it and you're done. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're interested in knitting any of these three hats, this is one of three. I will put a link to them underneath this video so you can get the patterns and the yarn and everything you need to make some festive holiday hats this season. And thank you Rowan for having me. Bye.